morning, guys. I wanted to talk to you some about some of my Rimmel favorites, and I'd love to hear some of yours. I love Rimmel. Uh, I buy my Rimmel from CVS, um, from Walmart. I love the price point. It's fantastic, and uh, a lot of my favorites from the brand are in the same category. Like, I have a lot of favorite glosses, favorite lipsticks, and uh, then the, the eye products. I'll show you what I got on my eyes. Let me just start with some of the favorites uh, that I have here. Uh, I have a favorite color. It is Lasting Finish Pro, um, and it is called Posh Pink. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous pink. When they say lasting finish, they are not lying. Okay, guys? They are not lying. It says up to 10 days. I've never used it for 10 days, but I can swear to a week. It'll work a week for you. I have a bunch of different colors. I have a lavender color. The blue color, there's a dark blue, navy blue color, and I swear I had to sandblast that off my, um, my nails. But the rest of them come off a little easier, but when they say lasting finish, they are not lying. Now, I'm not sure if this is like limited edition or not. I'm hoping not it's the cocktail colors and uh, I got this color Shirley Temple and it just looks gorgeous on the nails and it says on the side here in a flash and let me tell you it dries in a flash really really nice quick quick drying time looks gorgeous the color and almost this color looks almost like um, one of the liquid sand colors from OPI I got but this dries really fast and looks really pretty and shiny when it dries so that's really good but um, this came out in a set along with the show-offs when they came out at Walgreens and they're very very inexpensive I feel like these were two dollars and something two forty nine um, the bottle's a little smaller than a regular nail polish bottle, but who cares? I don't ever finish a nail polish. And um, there were bright purples, bright reds, a bright lime color, but I just got Shirley Temple. I thought it was perfect, a perfect orange for the summer. Speaking of show-offs, I love these things. Um, if you haven't tried one yet, I highly recommend them. It's almost like putting on a lipstick, even though they're, you know, got to do a foot one like a gloss. Um, one of my favorites is Galaxy. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Galaxy is perfect. I have a blog post for a lot of these things, most of these things. So check below in the description if you want to see up close and exactly how much it was. This is Gla Galaxy, the show off color. Now, um, these came out before, uh, I live in the U.S. <laughs> these came out and they were called Apocalypse, I think. Um, and here they're called show offs, lip lacquers, and um, just fantastic, long wearing colors, beautiful colors. Um, Galaxy is one of my favorites. I love it. Um, my other, my number one favorite actually is uh, the red. There's a nude color that I have in my purse. It's not even here. It's in my purse. I love the nude color. It's you know, a color I showed on my blog. This is Big Bang. It is the red, and I highly recommend it if you love red lips. Big Bang is Big Bang <laughs> is number 400, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, bright, juicy red um, that you need to try. $4.99, no going wrong with these, and you guys have come back and told me some of your favorite colors. They're fantastic. Now, the regular Stay Glossy line is a favorite of mine, and I have three favorite colors. The one I'm wearing is All Day Seduction, and I just went over these in my uh, June or July favorites. Um, really nice doe foot wand, um, kind of a paddle stick. Really nice glosses. Now, these say at the bottom that they last up to six hours. They do not. They're $4.99. They don't, I, I touch them up after eating, so I wouldn't say six hours. They're not that long wearing. Uh, the show offs tend to last longer on me, hour for hour, you know. Everlasting Crush is a little bit of a goldish color. I really, really like. Um, really good, universal kind of a color. And if you like bright colors, there's a fuchsia. I think this is fuchsia flash. I forget the name of it, but I'll include the link below. Um, it's just a a really nice bright bright color if you're looking for a bright gloss. I love their lipsticks and I have a few to show you. Um, from their Moisture Renew line, all of their lipsticks are moisturizing just so you know. I really think they're all moisturizing but there's a Moisture Renew line and this is my favorite bright from there. It's called Violet Pop. It's number 520 and it is just a beautiful if you love fuchsia bright shade. Um, looks so pretty on the lips. It is fire. 
really really pretty color um another favorite that is more of a neutral color that i like it's kind of an everyday color keep in your purse type shade is from the lasting finish line it's number 264 i have a backup of this it's coffee shimmer and this is a great nude i think and it has that kind of pinkish tone to it that i like in my no more nude colors so it's really really nice and uh really really pretty um just a nice finish every day you don't need a mirror put it on kind of a color okay and then some of my favorites from the Kate Moss line. Now, some of these come in black tubes, and then I'm going to show you my two favorites in the red tube. Um, number 104. This is so, so, so pretty. I love this color. Love it. And again, great on a deep skin tone, beautiful as well on a fair skin tone. This is number 104. Beautiful color. Look at that. Look at that. I tried to tape this video before, and I'm on so much cough medicine. I messed it up, so I'm doing it again. That's why my hand looks kind of weird, because I used a makeup wipe to get all the swatches off my hand. I'm such a mess. Okay, this color is a beautiful red. It's number 111, Kiss of Life. I remember when I saw this post on Tim Talia's blog, because once I saw it on her lips, I was on the hunt for it. Um, that's Kiss of Life, number 111 at the very, very top. And you've got to love a beautiful moisturizing red lipstick that looks like a $30 red. That's what that is. Um, I really like this mascara. I got this a couple weeks ago. It's their Lash Accelerator Endless Fiber Mascara. It says fiber, yeah, at the bottom here. It's an extreme black. Let me show you the wand. It's really working out for me. I'm start. I'm loving it. The more and more I used it, I used uh, used it as a chopping block item, and um, I loved it for that first week. But I really, really like it now. I use a little primer with it. My favorite is Tarte's lashes. Uh, Lights Camera Lashes Primer. I use it with that, but maybe that's why I like it so much. That primer turns everything into like the best mascara ever. But anyway, this is my favorite so far, and a lot of you guys told me to try Sexy Curves, so I'm going to definitely check that out. Okay, my eyes. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite thing that they make. Um, this is Scandal Eyes. It is called a eye shadow stick, and they're fabulous. Inexpensive and fabulous. I remember how excited I was the first time I saw these at Ulta. All right, this color is number nine, Blamed Blue. So gorgeous. I just sharpened it just so you could see it in all its gorgeousness. Look at that color. I mean, talk about a vibrant fire. Look at that color. That is amazing. I love, love, love it. Um, these are really nice. I put them over primer. They're creamy sticks that sticks that just go on really, really smooth. You smudge them out. You use them with powder. You use them alone. They're fabulous. Um, but that's my favorite color, the Blamed Blue. I'll show you two other colors that are kind of, I think, more along the lines of more wearable. This is Bad Girl Bronze number three. These say 24 hour <laughs> waterproof. Um, I've never had a problem with them. Uh, I don't know, I didn't jump in a pool or anything, but I love them. Um, that is the Bad Girl Bronze and I'll swatch it. I have all nine of them and I will link that below if you wanna see all the colors that, they, that they have currently in the line and they aren't limited edition or anything. Doesn't that Bad Girl Bronze look good? Really, really pretty color. Um, and another favorite is Guilty Gray. It's kind of a silvery gray. I love that. What are you doing, puppy? Oh, he's playing with this tennis ball. Um, there that is right there. Nice, perfect silvery gray. Um, really, really nice. So the other thing that I like from them, lip liner. Very, very nice. This is my most used one. It's number 24 Red Diva. Really, really pretty red. I use it with all my MAC lipsticks, all my MAC reds. I like that it's a twist up. Um... Sometimes that's just nice. It's so creamy, and I like to put a lot of times lip liner all over, you know, all over my lips and then put on the lip color. And um, what's nice about that is this is so creamy that it goes on with ease even without balm. It's creamy enough. I don't need to put on a balm first. So I like a creamy lip liner, so that's very good. I know they have newer ones. I have to try those. Um, also, they make um, these scandalized regular eyeliners. And this is a popular one. It's number five nude. And this is great for opening up your eyes because the color is very... Um, you know, it isn't that stark white color. It's just a nice kind of a nude, so it even works for me. I've only used it a couple times, but I just wanted to show you that. I'm still working with it, um, but if you were looking for something like that, um, check this out. This is, you know, again, something inexpensive. The only other brand I think that makes something inexpensive that you might like and be kind of comparable is NYX. Um, so those are some of my favorite Rimmel 
uh, products. Some of the things that I'm trying are, where did it go? I keep losing things. Here we go. A lot of you guys asked me to try this, so I will be checking this out. It's the Stay Matte Transparent Powder. Um, a lot of people asked me if this would work on a deeper skin tone, so I'll be testing that out and let you know what I uh, thought of that. It's a nice um, pressed powder, powder, and it says up to five hours natural shine control. We shall see. Bye-bye.